Hello guys, today we'll be looking at iPad keyboard case for the, I believe the iPad 6th generation, 7th generation, and 8th generation. I have the 8th generation here, um, I believe this came out 2018, it's the one of the A10 processor. Anyway, so let's get to unboxing this and put the iPad to the side there. We have the case and it just shows what the keyboard looks like. It says Bluetooth case, nothing here. Kenki, yes, a brand. I'll put a description. Um, I'll put a link in the description to the Amazon listing. As far as cost, this costs about thirty dollars, thirty Canadian, and I believe there's well, there was no tax on the cider, so that's that's awesome. And it says a sports smart sleep late wait yeah, <laughs> smart sleep wake up, which basically means when you put the cover on your iPad, the screen will turn off automatically. It has a long battery life for the keyboard and fast charging. So that's cool. Let's so see here. It says dirty and protective design. Bluetooth to quick connect, no password. Oh yeah, true some Bluetooth devices have passwords. I kind of forgot that because most don't. Uh, Multi-angle support and let's get to unboxing. Oh, and I forgot, warning, flame up, don't throw in the fire and don't use it under an umbrella. I don't know. <laughs> and let's open it up. Voila. Huh. Okay. The color is quite different from, quite different from what I expected it to be. Hopefully it'll contrast better than this. But, oh, okay. <laughs> having some a little slippery okay more wrapping so here i have the purple color but as you can see on camera as i was saying so i have the purple color here but as you can see here on camera it doesn't look like purple at all this is more like a gray color so if you're i would say if you're looking for the purple color maybe consider getting different color. And, oh, okay. It's probably just pops open. And there's just more wrapping here. Throw this. Oh, I thought there was something here, but this is my screen. Anyway. Oh, it's upside down. I'm gonna flip it this way. Voila, there's the case. And more foam. A US, micro USB. Charger, they have many of these. So I'm gonna put that somewhere over there. And the keyboard. The, the D keyboard, not A keyboard, but you know. I'm gonna unwrap this too. There's so much wrapping in this package. And this thing's light. Wow, okay, this thing is pretty light. And it feels clicky and it smells like China. Anyway. Whoa, what is this? Okay, so user manual and blah 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 how to use it eh i mean they made an effort honestly it's quite easy to use and oh my god we got stickers well i didn't know that was included <laughs> okay well here's stickers i guess bunch of cute little stickers and wait are these stickers oh they are they have you can't see on camera but they have outlines but yeah there's some cute stickers. <laughs> oh, very thoughtful. Anyway, let's install this puppy. So we have our iPad here. Boom, okay, we got installed. And so, you may be wondering, why would you buy this case? Million, there's a million uh, iPad keyboard cases. Well, I liked this one because Unlike, you know, other iPad keyboard cases, this one, the keyboard is removable so this as a normal, you know, iPad case. So you can just kind of just use this as a normal iPad case, but this front part is kind of bigger than you're used to and it slips kind of a lot. I just noticed that. A little unfortunate, they didn't really put ridges down here. But anyway, okay, let's, let's see how this exactly goes on here. It's supposed to just be magnetic and, oh, okay, I got, I got it. And 
it's upside down. Let's see if it works. It works. Oh boy. The okay. So you can't, let me just show it. The, this is a backspace key. It is tiny. As far as responsiveness, let's zoom out a bit. As far as responsiveness, hello, how are you? It's quite clicky, so that's kind of nice, and it's a little loud. So there's that. And how do I close this? How do we close this, I should say? I think they said you have to remove the keyboard. Close the iPad. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention, this has a slot here for the Apple Pencil. And you're supposed to like slot it on here to charge it, like in this hole. I don't have an Apple Pencil to demonstrate it, but anyway. You close it, and you heard the Glock noise and it just closed like this. I believe you have to carry this separately. But hey, it's magnetic here, so. Okay, I'm a dirty liar. <laughs> I could I could feel it's magnetic, but yeah. Okay, I wouldn't trust this though to hold it like that. And to charge this, you just plug it to my USB in here. So, is this, I should say, is this a best decision to buy this? Um, well, it's a wireless keyboard and a case for $30, so eh, not bad. Don't think I don't like, honestly, like if I'm being completely honest, the only thing I haven't, I don't like so far is I don't like how it's a little hard to prop this up. Maybe if we do something like, no, that would not make sense. And does it support, uh, hang on, wait, does it support... Oh, there's no bend here. Mm, there's not many modes you can do this in, unfortunately. This is pretty much the only config. This is pretty much the only way you could prop it up without uh, the keyboard. But then it's like you have all the space. Might as well put this on there anyway. But yes, it works. If, I believe it works without being magnetized. Yes, it does. So yes, that is kind of nice. You can just carry this anywhere. Just <laughs> you can carry this anywhere and. Yeah, that's kind of nice. And it, the keyboard is a little loud, like I said, but it's not, it's not bad. Anyway, that, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. Hey guys, quick cut I, for, I forgot to mention. <laughs> so in my video, I had, I had the keyboard kind of propped like that, so like more purple showing, but I looked at the product photos again and it's more like that, which makes more sense. And unfortunately you can't really prop this up super securely, the iPad without the keyboard. So yeah, I mean, you kind of can, but it's kind of nice that it's magnetic cause then you can kind of do this and then have this anywhere you want and just as you can see on the screen type. And one more thing I forgot to mention is this keyboard has some cool little shortcuts. So we're gonna zoom in on F1. So if we do type function, F1, go to the home menu. We do function, F2, we can open spotlight search. Function, spacebar, we can change the language. So to emoji or you know, English or to your native language, if you have, if you're bilingual and F1, th this is like, this one's kind of just on any keyboard. You have, if you do the right arrow key, you can do end, left arrow key home. So you can see the cursor moved all the way up to where I said, hello. Oh, sorry. It went up to this line here, page up, down. all that and there's just a whole row of icons so if we do f1 f3 it selects the whole thing f1 f4 i believe that's copy f1 f5 the point is there's a lot of a lot of keys on a function row as you can see here And there's for Android, for Windows, for iOS. So 
I guess if you really wanted to, you could, heck, you could use this keyboard on your computer, your laptop, or with your Android tablet. Granted, you won't be able to use a case, but you can use a keyboard, so that's nice. And there's all the little keys. There's F6's cuts, I believe. Um, some of the icons I'm not too sure about. Uh, these are the media controls. Uh, volume up, volume down, and a lock. This is a lock one, actually. Oh, it turns the screen off. Okay. Awesome. Okay. So I'll show that actually. And it's space bar. There's no password on here, so it just unlocks. And volume up, volume down. Can't see because that's how screen. See the little bar at the top that appears right there. So yeah, it's it's a pretty fun keyboard.